can I do problem 16? Yeah. Okay. Just to practice my English. So, um, column 16a, we have been given a vector field which consists of uh, v, r, v0, y, x, and the uh, unitary vector in x direction. And let me see. So we were asked to um, to calculate the um, flux to uh, a cube that's defined in um, some coordinates. I'm gonna make a quick sketch of the cube. So we have uh, this point is zero, zero, and. This and I define my coordinates like this is in y direction, x direction, and in z direction. And yeah, so uh, we know from the lecture that our flux is defined by the integral of a um, surface, for example, this one. And yeah, we have the electric field, but this time it's a vector field, it's pretty much the same. So, um, and DM is always the surface multiplicated by uh, a normal vector, I'm not sure what's called in English. And yeah, that vector, um, if you just take a look at the equation, we know that um, the surface here has a flux of zero because is dependent of x and we have our coordinate system that's um, started at 0, 0, 0. So um, this surface is irrelevant and also um, as we see the vector field is in x direction so we have whoops, something like this. That means that the surface up here and down there and also on the sides is uh, parallel to the vector field and therefore it doesn't um, have any flux at all. So we just have to look at one surface, um, and that's right here. And yeah, so we have our equation, and um, I just need to find a n vector, and that is pretty obvious um, in this case, because I can take um, the unitary vector in z direction and the unitary vector in y direction, and I get, um, obviously, the unitary vector in x direction. So yeah, that's pretty obvious. And df is dy by dz. You can see it, it's like defined by these two vectors. All right, um, yeah. So I um, insert all my information I have into uh, this integral, and I get that. Um, yeah, we're just going to put the final uh, equation there. It's two integrals because it's uh, two dimensional, and it's v zero y dy dz. Yeah, we can see that um, x. In this case, uh, the surface is constant. X is 1 because this point is 1, 0, 0. And also, um, through sorry, the F vector also has a unitary vector in X direction. And we also have 
the unitary vector in x direction in the equation itself, so that pretty much cancels out to 1. So that is our final integral, and after integrating it twice, we get the final result of 1 half e0. Is that right? 1 half of e0? Yes. All right. Um, yeah, I can do b2, but that is uh, a bit more complicated. So at b, we are looking at the same q. However, the surface that the flux is going through is um, different this time. So with the q right here, and the surface is really quite difficult to sketch, but try my best. Uh, something like this, the surface here. As we know, the vector field is in this direction. So, what we have to do now is um, begin do this um, equation here, find a df that is defined by um, df, obviously, multiplied with a normal vector, and uh, we are looking for this vector right here. And um, can get the vector by simply um, crossing these two vectors. Um, I will explain in a minute what they mean, and by um, putting it into uh, the unitary uh, norm. I'm not sure it's in English. Yeah, um, we have one direction, um, 0, 1, 0, that is in yeah, pretty much a y direction. It's this vector right here. And 1, 0, 1, that is from here to up here. So uh, we have the two uh, orthogonal vectors which um, yeah, create the surface. And uh, the result is 1 over the square root of 2 by 1 by this vector right here. Uh, and again, um, we have, yeah, the vector itself is obviously um, 1 over square root of 2, 0, and minus 1 over square root of 2. So. Um, as we saw in the equation right here, we have the unitary vector of x again, and that means that we have a scalar product. Um, it's pretty obvious that multiplied by 1, 0, 0, and that leads us to a single scalar, which is um, 1 over the square root of 2. Yeah. Um, So the fine, that's just a uh, coefficient in front of the integral because um, the integral by now it's pretty much the same as it was in the last uh, assignment. So we have this final equation. Zero. And yeah, just integrating pretty obvious. It's 1 over 4 multiplied by the square root of 2 b0. And yeah, that is pretty much it. Is that right, 2? Um, all right. OK. Um, so, what else can show if uh, we have this uh, v? If it's independent of x, yeah. it would be uh, 
C, so we don't have um, X anymore. That means we only integrate it. Um, it doesn't really matter, does it? Because um, we have, as we are here, um, this point is just one, and that means that the whole uh, like process of uh, calculating is the same, isn't it? Or is it not? Yeah, uh, this is just for the result of one sub x. Oh, okay, so you have to multiply it by uh, six times. No? Ah, twice. Or twice? Yeah, in this surface and this one. Yeah. So I would think. You think the twice of this result? Yeah, I, guess, I don't know. <laughs> no? <laughs> What's the result then? Zero. Zero? Yeah, of course, because <laughs> I forgot. Yeah, we have vectors that enter and vectors that come out. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, but that's it. Uh,